How's it going guys? Lian here. So for today's video, we're going to take a look at what's in an architect's bag. More specifically, what's in my bag. So when meeting with clients, I usually have two setups. One bag is for the preliminary meeting and basically this is like my everyday carry and another bag is for the final design presentation. So for this video, let's take a look at my preliminary meeting bag or my everyday bag. Okay, so this guy on my back is a Bobby anti-theft backpack made by XD Design. If you love sleek minimalist industrial design and if you love not getting your stuff stolen, then this bag is for you. It comes in three colors, red, gray, and this one that I got on is the black version. If you look closely, this bag has a ton of features that I love, aside from the anti theftiness Is that a word? anti theftiness Anyways, from the outside, we have access to many hidden pockets. These pockets are where I keep stuff that I need quick access to, like a couple of charging cables, like a micro USB, a USB-C, and my mini ideas and drawing notebook, right here. On the left wing of the bag, we could see a USB port. Like, what? That was exactly my reaction when I first found out that this bag has a USB port. This USB port has a corresponding connector on the inside of the bag, which lets you connect a power bank, which then supplies this USB port on the outside. Now that we're done with the outside of the bag, let's take a look at what's inside. So in the rear flap of the bag, we could see two sleeve pockets. One pocket suited for a 15-inch laptop and another for a 7-inch tablet. In the larger pocket is where I keep my Samsung Galaxy tablet. This is mainly what I use for presenting preliminary ideas, sample works, and material selection. Sitting snugly in the smaller pocket is my sketchbook. Basically, this is where I develop quick sketches and write random notes. Moving on to the main compartment. From the top, we will see a few of the pens that I keep on this pen holder for quick access. When it comes to pens, I don't really like carrying a ton of them and I don't see the need to have a ton of line weight choices when developing preliminary sketches. So just 3 pens is enough. So I have a 0.2 Unipin, I have a 0.3 GTEC Pilot, and I have a 0.8 Micron. So why do I have 3 different branded pens you ask? This is probably driving folks out there with OCD crazy. But why? It is so that at first glance, I already know the line weight of that particular pen. So by doing so, I save a lot of time when sketching, so I don't have to fumble around and look for the line weight. Um, each pen corresponds for a certain line weight, so in my mind, I already memorized what line weight that is. So above the pens is where I keep my trusty masking tape, super handy, and my backpack raincoat. So just in case it rains and I don't have an umbrella, I could like barter this raincoat for an umbrella. So next up is the lower compartments. This is where I keep my pencil case which houses my 45 degree and 30 60 degree triangles, my box cutter, a Mongol number 2 pencil. Also, this is where I keep my fan scale. Which I am a huge fan of. <laughs> Anyways, it's not that I hate those triangle prismy scale things, but have you tried stepping on one of those while doing an overnighter? I thought my foot broke in half and I would never be able to walk again. On the right side of the bag is where I keep the power bank that powers the exterior outlet thingy that I showed you guys a while ago. And nestled in this pocket is the Stanley 3 meter measuring tape which comes in super handy. In the other compartments is where I usually keep a bunch of snacks but are now empty because I kinda ate the snacks before shooting this video so oops. Anyway, that was my preliminary meeting bag or everyday bag. The links for these things in my bag or similar products will be in the description below. If you like this video, please like, leave a comment and maybe smash that subscribe button, you know, whatever. But, but really just click it, but you know, whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!